Welcome, and this is going to be a very short video on Nintex Workflow Cloud. So many of you have probably been familiar with Nintex over the years, and when we got started with SharePoint on-premises as an add-on to the uh, SharePoint platform for Workflow, we big then became available within Office 365 uh, later on. But what I want to focus on today is leveraging Nintex Workflow Cloud as the workflow engine for SharePoint Online and other applications that you have around the organization. So what we're going to jump in today when we focus on Nintex Workflow Cloud is the ability to build an online form, be able to automate that workflow, go out, generate documents related to that, and even send that off for signature as well in this demonstration. There are other capabilities within the platform, but that's what we're going to focus on today in this short session. So let's jump right into Nintex Workflow Cloud and take you on a quick tour. This is the canvas that I fell in love with almost 14 years ago now in this drag and drop interface. So being able to take these actions from the left, drag them over onto the canvas, drop them, click on them, and be able to configure those actions. So we do continue that with Nintex Workflow Cloud, just your modification or edit capabilities are right here on the right hand side of that screen. But one of the things I wanna show you that's unique about Nintex Workflow Cloud than the traditional uh, workflow designers that we've had is our ability to trigger a workflow. Literally come up here to the start event, choose that trigger. So we can use what's called a component workflow, call it from somewhere else, I'll show you a form-based workflow here in just a minute, meaning fill out the form that gets started, or a scheduled workflow. But the thing that I really wanna hit home today is these connectors that we have. These are start events from these systems that trigger Nintex Workflow Cloud and calls it to start. So let's focus on one here around SharePoint Online. This trigger allows Nintex Workflow Cloud to be the workflow engine or SharePoint Online. And how we make that connection is right here. We simply come up, choose the event, meaning a new item or updated item to a workflow. Come down here in the bottom and choose the username or password. So I have one out here uh, for Leroy Brown. And literally just type in the URL for the site that you want to connect to. So I'm gonna use our Safalo demonstration environment, SharePoint.com. Click on re Retrieve List. It's gonna log in with those credentials to that site. All of a sudden, we'll have back all the lists that that account has access to. So maybe we're working with an onboarding list. Now that we have this configuration set up, when a new item is now added to that list, this workflow will now start. Um, we could even make it conditional as well down here at the bottom if we needed to in order to uh, trigger it based upon some piece of data that's available in that list. So triggering a workflow from SharePoint Online, that's what we wanted to get covered in this first piece. Now also in here, we can create a form. You can use the form for your trigger. Notice that this form can be available to anonymous users or authenticated users, because you can set this up for single sign-on. Great examples of anonymous usage uh, would be situations where it's a job application, contact us, feedback, those kind of things, you can set this up. Simply come in, click on design form, you can now start designing your Nintex form. And you can do it in one of two ways. Either A, come in here, grab the fields, just start dragging them over, dropping them on the canvas where you want them to be. Click on them and do the configuration just like the workflow on the right hand side. So we'll do something like a first name field right here. Continue to drag those elements onto the page. You'll see things like address, which will actually uh, kind of preload that address as you're typing it out. Um, single choice, currency, data lookups from other systems, uploading files, repeating section signatures. We can do it all in here. And if you don't want to build it out manually, we also have a capability where you could start from a PDF document. Simply click import load up that PDF wherever you have it located. I'm gonna grab an absence form right here. And it's gonna load that PDF on the left-hand side of the page. Simply come in, kind of lasso that content that you wanna create. I'm gonna let go of the mouse and pay attention to the right-hand side of the screen. It builds the form automatically for you. Great way to accelerate the building of your form, whether it's a PDF from a Word document or even a screenshot that you've saved as a PDF. And notice over here as well, 
This is now a date picker. It knew that that was a date field because we had that typed in. Uh, also, the phone number's in the phone number format right here. Uh, so we can finish doing that. And then even the signature, instead of it being a line, we can put our signature on the page. So it really accelerates our ability to be able to build and design a form. And I'm going to come back into the form designer canvas where we'll see our form and we can configure, finish configuring that particular form. Last thing we're going to focus on over here in Nintex is all of the connectors to those systems of record that you're using every day. Things like SharePoint Online that you can connect to. Over 30 plus connectors that allow you to get in there and work with it right out of the box. Um, also notice other things in here like Teams, OneDrive, and even a lot of systems of record um, that you can connect to that aren't listed. Because what you're going to have the ability to do is be able to create your own private connectors. And one last thing that I want to highlight here as well is we've made an addition to our platform around what we call Nintex Gateway. That's really what allows you to come out here and connect your cloud, Nintex Workflow Cloud environment, to your on-premise assets. You'll see one connector right here for SQL on-premises. Scroll down just a little bit more, we'll see web services that you need to kick off on-premises and even SharePoint on-prem as well. So that gateway service is providing that cloud to ground connection. And worst case scenario, if you've got a system of record that you need to connect to and you can't get it done via web service, you can always leverage that gateway service to trigger our RPA bot. So this is what we call Nintex Workflow Cloud. Really easy to use to be able to go out here and really build some sophisticated workflows in the environment. So thanks for tuning in today.